Jimmy. You know, we got like a little special surprise trailer yeah. of Project Athea, a.k.a. Forspoken. We finally got the actual name yeah, for it. Forspoken. Um, you know, you guys saw the video. It was literally like, <laughs> it was quick. It was, it was like a, few, like a minute, minutes, a minutes, minute minutes, minute minutes. something, right? Yeah. It was, we got the voice actor and then that quick trailer. Right, the old, old girl from uh, Charlie's Angels, I believe, the, the newest one mm. or oh, whatever. Okay. She's from that. And, um, you know, when I was first looking at it, I was like, okay, the character looks pretty close to her. Yeah, no, totally. And, uh, you know, it's like, you know, a woman who's wearing like regular up to date clothes and then you sees a dragon and then it's like, oh, okay, that's kind of weird. Like you know, Final Fantasy how is this? Yeah. How yeah. is this setting and stuff mm -hmm. like that? And then you see the attire change towards like the end of the, of the clip or whatever, where she's wearing that long cape, which is what we had seen before. And then that fluid movement, man. That yeah. that fluid movement definitely that was a trip. looked yeah. nice. It looked like, really good. Like, really yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, like my first thought too was like when I saw her in the street clothing, she looked like she was in regular clothing and then she was like in a med medieval kind of yeah, yeah. world. I was thinking – Some type of a ruin or something She traveled like, like maybe like uh, she time traveled time travel. or like mm. um, she was transported like a – Alternate universe. Yeah, something. like, yeah, alternate universe or, like, you know, Sword Art Online, the whole thing where, like, she mm. transferred into some weird world. Digital right, world. right, right. Because she was wearing normal, like, modern day clothes. Yeah. Right, right. That was, I was she was like, wearing regular, you know, yeah. Chuck Taylor like, sneakers. Yeah, low clearly cut, she's you know? not yeah. from yeah. this world that she's in right now. Right. So I was like, that's interesting. Like, she just got transported here and now she's got to figure it out. Um, that's cool. And then, of course, the movement, man. Mark and I were talking, like, yeah. in chat, like, you know when you, in, in Marvel when you like shoot forward, yeah, and, that, you, and you fly yeah. forward, Spider Man, right? and you're kind of like floating, like, and you kind of yeah. grab again. Like it had that really good, yeah. grabby, filly, fluid motion. Yeah, yeah, it seemed it seemed real smooth, like a uh, pathless. Yeah, I haven't played Pathless. You played that? I haven't played it, but okay. I'm just saying, oh, okay. like from the footage and whatnot, okay. you know, you're shooting the arrow and then you're like beelining mm -hmm. it to that and stuff. It seemed mm -hmm. like, you know, like it was, uh, it was all about like a flow. Yeah, you yeah. know, like it had you like had some to get, rhythm like, a flow to the flow or something. Yeah, yeah, like that. yeah. It was yeah cool. but so was Spider Man, right? Because you're like, you're yeah, like, timing yeah. your grab to the next yep. building, exactly. right? Like right, when you're in the tree area. Yeah. Like, and then of course the powers look dope, right? She's like smashing the ground and like these things are coming out. Yeah. I don't know. It looks great, right? It, it looks pretty darn polished. Yeah. I would say for the for our first, you know, little look at the trailer, the model looked really good. Were those cinematics at first? You think the first yeah. area with the clothes and the dragon? That's I was cinematic, thinking so. that was cinematic, but I wasn't sure. Uh, okay. But I was thinking it was cinematic too. Gotcha. But I wasn't hundred percent because the game is such a jarring transition. Yeah. Oh yeah. From that to the game that. Yeah. But the game was looking so good. I was like, dang, this is like yeah. really good looking. Yeah. It kind of. I don't know to you guys, but it kind of looked a little weird. The hair. I don't know if that's like uh, these like next gen graphics things because I I saw it on um what was that other whack ass game that they uh, <laughs> released for uh <laughs> sorry if you like it but uh, um the the one that uh medium oh, the yeah. hair kind of yeah. looked the same um, where it's like overlapping and it's trying to create like depth but you can see through like the front yeah. part of the hair and stuff like that so that kind of looked a little weird well maybe so, that's just like a development problem right now who knows yeah um, maybe it is polishing. but i mean medium had that bullshit so yeah but medium is yeah. a low quality game so <laughs> Hey, they're using they're Sorry. using they're fully utilizing the engine of the Series X. Right. So that's what you have yeah. to account for. Maybe that's they need to hire some barbers right. as developers. But like, yep, that looks about right. <laughs> yeah, hey, man, that, that hairstyle's a little off, right. bro. You shouldn't be able to see through those bangs, man. Yeah. But yeah, that so, was exciting to finally get word. That was twenty twenty two, I think they said, right? Early uh, twenty twenty two. I didn't. I don't know if I saw. I like they a gave a year. Did they give a year? Not sure. I thought we got a year. I don't know. I'm not sure on that. But one. yeah, I'm glad we finally got a name. It looked great. Right. Um, I thought I thought Project Who's Apia seems kind of cool, is, though. This is Square Enix? or This is... Well, Square Enix is, de is, uh, is a publisher. Yeah, it's publishing it. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. I can't remember who's developing it. So you think it. it's going to be a Game Pass like, uh, day one, like Outriders? Dude, how cool. That would be crazy. No, because PS5 was... It was uh, in the PS5 event. Project yeah, see, this is saying January 2022. That's true. I think they just said early 2022. Okay, 2022. So first quarter then, yeah. probably. Yeah, for spoken. And then it'll get pushed back because of COVID. <laughs> To, yeah, uh, 2027. Like third quarter. <laughs> 2027. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, uh, so um, it definitely looked like it was pretty cool. Yeah, I want to see open world, more. right? Like it would look like a... Because yeah. like, like, the desert scene, when she kind of like jumps off the cliff. That was right, cool, right. Yeah. Towards like, like a float. big dinosaur or yeah. something so, like that. So maybe like more like uh, Assassin's Creed kind of world, you think? 
Yeah, yeah. I was kind of getting that yeah. feel. Assassin's Creed is nice and open. Just the world. movement is so, so cool. Yeah. I was thinking like or like Spider Man open I was world. Thinking like Mistborn, yeah. man. Mm. Throwing coins and oh. pushing herself off. Dude, things. that'd be so wicked. She to was have like a floating Mistborn around man. without any trees and stuff. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, just she was in case you that. don't know what yeah. Mistborn is, it's a book. Who's the author of Mistborn? Brandon Sanderson. Brandon Sanderson. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah that's a that really out. good book if you guys like books. You know, check it out. You know, Audible. You know, that's it's it's good it's really title cool. to check out. You can get Audible for free, something yeah. like that. Or you can they probably find the book shit. for free or pretty cheap, mm-hmm. not for free, and just read yeah, it. Yeah, on Kindle really, for sure. Really good stuff, man. Yeah. But yeah, so, good, man. Looks good. That's what I was thinking because it's like a female lead, so like then, and then she's like running around, like pushing off things, like mysteriously. Yeah. Because in Spider Man, you see that you know, he's using his rope. You know, he's using his spider webs. So right. We didn't. See we didn't see that actual know power. What, how, or we don't know how. Well, yeah. Where she get, we don't know where she's getting her power from. What her power is. How it works. Yeah. We just know that she's using it for movement. I still want to know more about like the storyline and and what not's going on. Totally. With it, you know. Totally. So I'm hoping that you know because they showed us this clip. That they're not just gonna go silent for like the rest of the year. That we hear, you know, some more stuff from it. Yeah. I also want to hear some more stuff Slowly from Starfield, surely, right? you know, because we haven't seen Did anything from Starfield. Did you say there's E3 this year? I don't know. I heard so. that they were Bethesda was gonna show some Starfield at E3. Maybe they oh. have a digital E3. I hope, man. That'd be nice. I hope it would be nice some, if they I had a, a physical E3, one. Man, that you some could go good to. releases this summer. I'm only hoping to see all that because. You need to get back to some normalcy, man. I want a yeah. PSX, man. Yeah, me too. PSX. I would love a <laughs> nice. PSX, that would be, dude. That would be awesome. That would be nice. I would definitely go to PSX. Vegas masked up so I could freaking go check that out, dude. <laughs> yeah. I love you, man.